Welcome everyone. My name is David Leon, and in today's presentation, I'll be showing you about the modern collaboration application and basically what this tool is all about. So in today's presentation that I'll be showing to you is we will go through the, the design purpose of this tool. The another name for this tool is called Which Tool When App. I will also review to you the modern app collaboration architecture diagram. I will then demo the app for everyone and then probably talk about also the limitations of the apps and any questions at the end. So without further ado, let's start this presentation. So the modern collaboration tool is basically a, a power canvas app that can be shared to everyone in the organization. And one of these design purpose is to solve the business challenges. And what are these business challenges? Well, firstly, to achieve a company goal, our organization is specifically divided into departments. So while this separation of department is good to provide focus, it can also become a, pro become a problem, like a department can become silo in their own mission and become isolated to the other team and to the organization as a whole. So a particular scenario is when a department approaches an IT to seek a solution for their roadblocks. And so, however, this solution and always do what employee expects and thus there's a difference between expected and actual outcome. So this mismatch between um, what is expected and what is the actual outcome could be many reasons cause such as IT doesn't understand business requirements, departments have since evolved, um, you know, lack of integration capabilities. So when this misalignment occurs, the business or the end user perceive this technology as a, more as a blocker than an a an enabler and this is known as a goal displacement. So a goal displacement is basically when a technology is perceived by the end user as a blocker rather than an, an, an enabler for them. And so to address displacement, uh, we have to go through a couple of processes. Um, there are five processes to, to resolving the goal displacement and that is the business problem. And the business problem is start with bringing the narrow silo focus back to broader focus on the actual business problem. The next one is the process improvement is we address any shortcoming in, in the business process and enable staff to manage their roles and responsibilities. We then come to the desired behavior where we identify the right behaviors employees should adopt to implement the solution and improve the process. Technology enablers is then is to identify the right technologies to enable that solution so that the employee so that we can support the, the right behavior and the right culture adopted in the organization. Business solution is that once IT tool has been addressed and developed to address the area of concern, we then work together to resolving the business problem and rolling out the solution. So these four tiers, or basically five tiers of, of um, the uh, process in solving goal displacement does bring new opportunities and one of these opportunities is basically adopting new ways of working and also understanding productivity. So when it comes to understanding productivity, the modern collaboration architecture aims on focusing four areas of productivity to, in, to address goal displacement and also increase pro, and also to increase um, the organizing pro productivity. And, and these four areas are the individual productivity, team productivity, community and organization productivity. As you can see, this diagram is taken from the Microsoft white paper white website, which I found in here. And in this white paper here, which I'm going to show you, basically talks about the various um, productivity characteristics that are addressed in each uh, level of of our productivity from individual, community, organization, and teams. When you look at, at what are these characteristics made up, are basically here's an example of a productivity for an individual as well. But I will not go through this in this demo, but you can find this white paper from the actual, um, um, the formal website from Microsoft, the Modern Collaboration Architecture, found from this link here. And I'll put this link in the description of the video. Now going back to the slide is that the 
the tool basically is aimed at um, implementing, adopting the process of the productivity. And we're going to now pretty much now going to be demoing you the app. So one of the areas that I'm going to be demoing is is in, in the app is I'm going to do a search for a particular uh, productivity level. I'm going to do going to explore scenarios of business needs and I'm going to do an actual a live case where I'll have a business need um, to solve a particular problem. So the app is basically looks like this in the Power app. So this is a Canvas app and it starts off with the home page. So let's, as you can see here, the uh, the, pro the four productivity levels. And so let's pretend that in my department, so I'm going to go to team. So this is a team productivity. I want to know where can I store a file for my team. So I click on file and I click on search. Right about now it comes back with a search res result showing scenarios if there's any uh, tools, what tools will address the file or there is a need. So I'm going to start with a need. I want to upload this file, you know, to um, not to my personal OneDrive, but to their, my team. So this is where I'll be clicking on it, where there'll be team or SharePoint. So I'm just going to click on this. So it then comes up with the next page where we explore the recommendations in more details. Now, team, it says it's great for short, you know, for storing document for short term, but if it's for long term, we use SharePoint. And so, okay, great. So now I know that I need to store my files in SharePoint. So I'll then look and click at the tools that I need to solve my problem, which is in this case, SharePoint tool. I can click on that and it comes then, SharePoint page comes out with more examples of some uh, other links that SharePoint can help drive your business values. And obviously here are other links that we can see. And here is one, store team files. We go to there and comes back here with some suggestions. They're probably the, the previous screen that we saw. And it comes up here also related scenarios as well. Manage multiple projects to work together on team projects. Probably that's what I wanted. And I can click here and drill down some more suggestions about what, how I can store my files. And here are some of the suggested tools and some other recommendations that that might be there for me to store my file. So I do know now that after looking at this page that I need to store my file in using the, the SharePoint tool. So this is just an example of a scenario. We can go back to the home page and obviously you can then you know search for other um, scenario needs or you can actually might have an example where you have a particular scenarios. You might let's say I'm an individual and I want to perhaps you know, learn how to set up a workflow when I can click on the example scenario and comes back with Power Automated and some suggestions to do further reading as well. Learn more about SharePoint. I can click on that and it takes me to an, an official site where I can learn more about the, the tool um, in from the external website. So this is an example of the modern collaboration tools which you, which you can use for your organization or as an individual or for your teams. They also have one for community as well, depending on your scenario or need. Maybe you want to um, store your or share your file to the community or source code. Maybe you can type in source code and search for that as well. There is none. So. This is just one of the limitations which I'm going to address next. So some of the limitations that, that comes with this is the search criteria is not basically smart, but you might need to type in a keyword also to to get this the, the result that you want. There was also like a documentation from the original web website about how to make custom changes to the actual um, you know, content changes such as these. But I, um, that's another thing in another video. So from here, I pretty much have demoed to you the modern collaboration tool. If you have any question, please feel free to put your comments down in the video description below. Thank you.